the oncoming vehicles of the glaring of the light. Okay. Plus headlight to inform others of your approach during night time. How are you going to do it? Put it to high beam. When there's car oncoming, then you put it back to the low beam. So because it is a dangerous time to drive, night driving requires increased alertness and reduction in speed. Since you can see only 70 meters ahead, hold to a speed that allows you to come to a complete stop. When necessary in the distance, you can clearly see ahead in your headlights. Watch out for vehicles that might park or stop partially on the roadway with poor lights or none at all. If your car becomes disabled, activate the hazard lights immediately and get your vehicle off the road. Adverse driving conditions, driver condition, vehicle condition, road condition, traffic condition, weather condition, light condition, and Regarding driver condition, if you have illness, then if this possible, don't drive. Let somebody drive your car. If you are on medication, don't drive, especially if this, uh, this uh, medicine will make you drowsy, especially while driving on highways, long drive. Sleep, if you don't have enough sleep, don't drive. If you are drinking alcohol, don't drive. If you're driving, don't drink alcohol. If you are fatigued or tired from driving, let others drive. Or maybe you commute, uh, go uh, try to get a, uh, you know, a taxi or, you know, uh, public transportation. Emotion, manage your emotion, manage your stress. If you have problems, solve your problems. Uh, if you have if you are uh, psychology emotionally uh, down then let others drive don't drive and then avoid road rage practice the positive mental attitude there are also in terms of vehicle condition your engine is it good your tires are they bald are they worn out already uh, some oil leaking in your car uh, your your uh, side mirror is defective you know your brake system is not good so you have to check your vehicle vehicle maintenance regular tune-ups oil changes fluid levels brakes top up all the fluid levels the oil and fluid tap them up you have to check them every day the the cooling system also, the radiator, the expansion tank or reservoir. Check the, then top up. Check the brakes, with the brakes is working good. And tire treads and pressure should be checked. Okay. Light signals and wipers also. Pre trip inspection, walk around inspection, you walk around your vehicle. Look at the tires, feel the tires. Leaks under vehicle, windows clean, nothing blocking vision. You have to clean your windows and your windshield. Okay. Mirrors properly adjusted. Lights working should be working properly. Road condition, curvature, sharp bends, slow down before entering the curb. Slope, gain more momentum when going up. Use engine brake when going down. Potholes or speed bumps, watch out and reduce the speed. Slippery surfaces, slow down, manage steering, obstacles, evade, control speed. Blowouts, if it comes to tire blowouts, or damaged tire rim or overinflation may lead to failure while driving on highway. Grip the steering wheel with both hands, stay in your own lane, let up the accelerator, but do not brake. Do not slam on the brake because you are, go you are going to experience an overturning vehicle and that will uh, most of the time that leads to fatal fatal fatality fatal accident so just let up the accelerator and try to control the steering wheel turn on your emergency flower flashes once you are already in control of the steering wheel then turn on your emergency flashers or some other guys call it uh, hazard lights Steer slowly off the road to a safe place to change the tire. And if you have a 
early warning device AWD. Try to put it in the right uh, spacing of the uh, on the road to alert others of the you know of a, a an incident or accident. ABS anti-lock braking system. I have discussed this in my previous uh, video. A safety brake system on cars that operates by preventing the wheels from locking during braking, maintaining traction contact with road surface. At intersections, white line signal, cover the brake, point wheel straight, right on red, right of way, 40% of all traffic crashes occur at intersections. How not to get hit at intersection, look left, look right, look ahead, look left again. In the first car, don't jump the light. 30% of drivers reported, reported they ran a red light. Window down, look and listen, be able to see tires of vehicle in front of, on the ground. Next to a bus or large truck, light turns green, do you go immediately? Can you see the intersection completely? Don't pull up, stop, and then roll closer to the car in front of you. Get boxed in, hit from behind, hit the vehicle in front. Fail to stop, play what, the, what if game. What if the vehicle does not stop? What will I do? Reduce your speed by covering the brake. Cover the horn with your hand. Uh, last, don't count on them stopping. So don't, you, don't, you don't actually trust the other drivers that they're going to, to do the right thing. So try to anticipate. You know, that's why you said, what if the car will not stop? What if the driver will not be able to you know, control his vehicle? What if, you know, what if, what if, what if? So, it, do, it does mean that you don't trust the other guy, you know, the other motorist. So try to control your vehicle on your own. Try to anticipate what's going to happen, you know. So by doing that, you are, you are really a defensive driver. Weather condition, it's too windy, uh, dust, dust storm, and other uh, situation. Uh, heavy rains, pouring, snow, okay, ice on the road, etc. Adjust to weather road condition. You have to adjust. Okay, you don't, you know, maintain your speed, hundred kilometers per hour still, because that's the speed limit posted. Don't do that. You have to slow down. Maybe sixty kilometers, fifty kilometers, forty kilometers, depending on the visibility. So you have to slow down, turn on lights and wipers, okay. But don't put your lights on high beam because you will not see anything, okay. You will only uh, shut your visibility, okay. Especially on dust, on rain, you'll not be able to see anything in front of you. So put your lights down, low beam. If you still cannot see it, then turn on your uh, four-way flashers and, you know, get out of the road. Go to a safe place where you can park because you have, you're experiencing a zero visibility or a 